Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you my um, wax empties and also things that I have been warming but not finished. So I will start with those first um, so that I can make room. Not a ton, ton, ton of things, but um, a decent amount. I We had house, my sister-in-law was here up until today. She flew back to Boston. Um, <clears throat> so I tried to be aware of what I was wanting in my house. Um, I just, you know, I don't want anything to be offensive. And I know that if it was something that she didn't like, she would tell me, but I just tried to, you know, pick my scents. So I did work on a brick from Scentsy and this is the very popular black raspberry vanilla. Um, slowly working my way. I do definitely enjoy this. Mm, I do. I really do enjoy this. And I know it's nothing, you know, um, crazy with the scent notes or anything like that. But it's just such a nice, fruity scent without it being overbearing. You can definitely smell it. To me, it lasts a decent amount of time. I'll warm this anywhere in my house, um, minus the bathrooms. And also um, in the classroom as well. So really, really good, love that. Worked through a loaf, some of a loaf from L3 Waxy Wonders in warm vanilla sugar, let them eat cake and whole vanilla bean. Um, love, love, love this one as well. Again, very company friendly. Oh, it's just so, it's so good. You get um, that warm vanilla sugar, oh, Bath and Body Works, and it is just a, I know, again, it doesn't have crazy things in it, but it is really, really um, outstanding in my opinion. So a loaf of that, that I'm working on and I continue to, not because I have to, but because I really, really do enjoy that. I do have a candle going from Homeworks in Apricot and Beach Sage beautiful. Um, if you are somebody that is afraid of sage, that's not what this, how this comes across. It's just a very pretty, um, I would say, I wouldn't say feminine. I would definitely say like a unisex, universal type of scent. So really, really enjoying that. And it's almost gone. Um, another Lowe's from L3 is Rosemary Mints, Boom Boom, and White House. Oh my God, you guys. I love this. Ugh, definitely her loving her rosemary mint, and it is strong. Um, so Lighthouse is, I think it's sea air and musk. And then the boom boom, which I do not smell any boom boom on cold, but the combination when this oil is melting, um, oh, it, it's beautiful. It really, really is the way that that the Boom Boom and the Lighthouse, that sea air and musk complement the Rosemary Mint. So fantastic. This is an all over anywhere, bedrooms, bathrooms, living space. So, so good. Really, really love this. So happy that I have more of it. Um, What else? This sitting right in front of me. Another one from L3. <laughs> This is Sweet Lavender, Pink Sugar, Rosemary Mint, and Pink Chiffon. Outstanding. Again, with that, her Rosemary Mint, super strong, which it is a strong oil to begin with, but mixed with the Sweet Lavender and the Pink Sugar. So pretty. Um, enjoyed melting some of this um, in my bedroom. Oh, it's so good, you guys. Love, love, love that. We'll continue warming that. Okay, then I have, oh, almost forgot this one. This is from Avis Country Covered, and this is Day Tripper. I have spoken about this one many, many times. Um, so it was a nut, this was a, a circle, I say, and a square. Um, so I've melted a little bit of this. I've had this so many times. Oh, I love this. I love this so much. Oh. This is um, plum and 
to the scent notes before um, plum, hemp seed, cannabis leaf, red currants, acai berries, oak moss, and I want to say pink peppercorn. Oh, you definitely got that. <clears throat> the plums. Um, so strong on cold. This all mixed together with that cannabis leaf, the hemp seed, the oak moss. Oh my gosh, it is just a, to me, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. I love this. I have another pack of it. I melt this um, in my bedroom and sometimes my master bathroom. I just love it and it is long, long lasting. This is not something um, that I would melt all throughout my house. I feel like maybe it could be, it could overtake and, you know, possibly blow your doors out. Um, but I enjoy it in my bedroom. And like I said, really, really, really long lasting. I will continue to always repurchase that whenever I place orders with Avos. Okay, then some non-empties from Sensi. So let's start with Fiji Flower, which is from the Summer Collection, which is still available. And Fiji Flower is Pink Plumeria, Pear Blossom, and Apple. And you definitely get that apple, bit of the plumeria, and then the pear. Pear and apple mostly with slight, um, what did I just say? With the apple, app, you get everything, okay? Um, I do really like this. I've only melted two cubes. Um, I wasn't sure how my sister-in-law was going to feel about this. So I only kind of had it going in a small area. I didn't know if it was going to be too floral. It is not, <clears throat> excuse me, it is not too floral. It is so pretty. And I will definitely be melting this um, next week all throughout my living space. I really, really do like this. Um, trying to decide if it needs to go in my club. I don't know, I have too much in my club currently, so I'm trying to behave. This is Spring Forward. This is gorgeous. This did really nothing for me on cold. Um, so it took me kind of a while to decide to melt it. It smells like celery um, on cold, like green, gardeny, maybe even like stems. So I was kind of like, hmm, not really sure how I feel about it. And I was talking to my friend Amy and she had, we were talking about it and she had asked me if I had, um, if I in fact had tried this and I told her I had not. <laughs> um, so we went, she really liked it. Um, it's a very different, um, scent, this spring forward. Did I even say the name of it? Spring forward. It's bergamot, raspberry, jam, and cedarwood, which sounds like such an odd combination. I love cedarwood. Cedarwood is so good to me. Um, I thought that this was going to be, just reading the name of it, like a very floral, because you think spring flowers. Um, but it has like a combination of like leaving winter, like cedarwood I associate with winter, like leaving winter and coming into spring, where you would get, you know, maybe more of a like raspberry scent and a bergamot, like things that you would maybe associate more with spring, uh, if that's even making sense. This is just so good and it's so hard to describe, um, but I do really like it. This is not crazy, crazy strong. It is a good medium um, throughout the whole time it is warming. And um, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to warming more of that. Bring back my bar, possibly we'll pick up another. I don't know, there's just, there's too much, too much. Um, strawberry swirl. So, this reminds me of a vendor's strawberry. <clears throat> um, so this to me is strawberry yogurt. Um, the scent notes are strawberry, like frothing, frothed milk, frothing milk, I don't know, and vanilla. Um, I do like this. It is not a love for me. Um, I put two cubes in the front room, um, and it was so 
kicking, 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 kicking strong. Like people, if they were at my front door, probably could smell this outside. To the point that I almost shut my warmer off. It was only going, I put two cubes in, um, I have that succulent or succulent um, warmer, which is an element warmer in the front room. Two cubes in there, so damn strong for a good, like crazy strong for a good four or five hours. And then it kind of died down to like a medium. It's been in there for a few days now. And now I can only smell it when I walk past it. Um, it's just strawberry yogurt to me. And that's just not something that I need to have. Um, happy to have it. Definitely will continue to warm it. I may even hang on to a couple um, cubes for my classroom. Um, I think that it would be well received there. Ocean from Bring Back My Bar. I love this. Oh my gosh, I love it, love it, love it. This is Aquatic Notes, Water Lilies, and Ocean Breezes. Um, this is Bring Back My Bar. Fantastic, you guys. And when I tell you this is so unbelievably strong, I put one cube in my bathroom. Um, do I, have, I have an element warmer in my bathroom. Days, days upon days upon days with one cube in there. And that warmer stays on all the time, just like all of them. Um, Cause I haven't really left my house since school's been out. Um, it's, it's not sea air. Oh, it's just, it's so good. And when I go into the, the bathroom, I think, oh, I should probably change up my wax. And now I get a big, big old burst of this. And I really like this. Um, is it club worthy to me? You guys, this is the, you know, the question. Or should I just pick up, you know, a couple more bars and have it? I don't want to burn myself out on it. Um, so I don't know, but I really love this. And this, like I said, you, it just goes and goes and goes and goes. And then I put... I think two cubes in my oldest son's room. And he has a Scentsy Bulb Warmer in there. And he commented on how good it was. It's just a clean, summery scent. It's really amazing. And then Clothesline, which is not a bring back my bar. Ugh. I think I'm finally sick of this. <laughs> um, this is something I think I'm just going to reserve for like heavy cooking smells. I don't, and, and my laundry room. I will put it in my laundry room. It's um, heavy, heavy, heavy laundry scent. It's very, very long lasting. This is not something that I would melt like throughout my house or um, in my bedroom or probably not, maybe the teenager's bedroom, but not my youngest. It's so strong. So I think I'm just gonna hang on to it. I probably have more bars of it. I'm gonna hang on to it and just use it for like, if I've cooked something um, that I'm trying to rid the scent of, I would use it. But um, yeah, so I've been working on that. Okay, that was a bit. There's probably other things that I've been warming that I just didn't keep in my basket. So let's go on. We'll keep going with um, Scentsy Empties. I only have a few. I also wanted to say that um, I am not rushing through my Bring Back My Bars because I don't want to just melt them for the sake of melting them so that I can get back on here and tell you guys. Obviously, if you have questions regar regarding a certain bar, please, by all means, ask me. If it's not something that I've melted, I will melt it and let you know what I think because we have until the end of June to... Um, get these bring back my bars or you can you know start putting them in your club um I just I want to enjoy them too I don't want to just rush through for the sake of warming so with that being said I thought I had something else to say but I guess I don't I am an independent sensei consultant I always leave the information down below no pressure ask me questions go to the website see if there's things that you are interested in um, so this is sugar. This was a bring back my bar last year, I believe. This is in my club. It will never come out because I have customers that love it. My children love it. Um, it's lemon drops and cotton candy. It, it's just like a staple. It's a very, um, 
like nostalgic scents um, for my boys. I've told the story a gazillion times. So this will stay in my club and it's not going anywhere. Which my club is coming. Chips, I think sometime, or processes sometime this week, you guys. And there's 20 bars in there. I do not need 20 bars. So I'm gonna have to scale back when that comes in as well. This was a bring back my bar from God knows when. I think I might have gotten this in the clearance clearance section probably a couple years ago. I do not like this at all. Hawaiian Paradise. Ugh, nope. It is a like piercing pineapple scent in here that is not like sweet and juicy and ripe fresh pineapple to my nose. It also has banana, orange, mango, guava, and sugar coconut. I don't know if it's that sugar coconut mixed with the pineapple, but I do not like this at all. And I basically warmed it just to get it the hell out of my house. Um, yeah, I, I don't like it. And I do like tropical summery scents. Um, this was a no. Didn't like it. You can't get it anyway. Um, watermelon Tangerine. This is currently available. This I had last year as well. And I feel like I liked it more last year than I have this year. Um, it is just dewy greens, watermelon, and tangerine. I will say, <clears throat> um, it's, yes, it's a fruity, summery scent. It is not crazy strong. It's pretty light. Um, it's a nice scent. There's nothing wrong with it. I just find that when Scentsy does watermelon, it's not strong. Now, I may make a liar out of myself because in Bring Back My Bar, they did release um, watermelon patch and watermelon mint, and I am going to be um, warming those this week. But I feel like vendors make a much more powerful watermelon, at least in my opinion, from vendors that I have tried. I just, there's just this, just is not amped up enough for me. And I love both of these scents. I love watermelon, I love tangerine, just wish that it gave me more. That's all. All right, now on to um, vendor empties. I do have one at retail from um, Better Homes and Gardens, from Walmart, and the Value Pack, Line Dread Linen. Love this. Yeah, always have this. Don't have it anymore, but not going to Walmart just to get this, but I will pick this up. This is great. Um, I will warm this. Um, in bathrooms, my loft, laundry room, hallways. I'm pretty sure I've done it in the living space too. It's just a clean laundry scent, laundry off the line. It's great, love it, love it, love it. Can't beat the price, great performer, long lasting. Had to replace a Scentsy bulb. I feel like all of my bulbs go at once. You know, it's not, and they're, I'm not changing out bulbs constantly. They do last a really long time and I keep my warmers on all the time unless you know I'm away overnight or anything like that. So I had to replace the 40 watt Edison bulb. Um, so I have that, is it called the olive basket? I always call it the wrong thing. It's like a metal um, warmer with a glass plate, if you guys know what I'm talking about. It's pretty, I love it, um, but it does take a 40 watt bulb. And these, through Scentsy, are $6. I was kind of surprised. That's their priciest bulb in my that I've noticed. So I did have to replace it. I'm hoping it lasts a long, a long time. Finished up from Alfie Waxy Wonders. This is Blackberry Boardwalk Mallow Clouds. Everybody knows, BMC, delicious. Love it, love it, love it. Hope I don't ever get sick of it. And then mixed in with that delicious, ripe, fruity, mm, blackberry, fantastic. Love this. Have a loaf of it. Let's just stick. I think I have a little bit more L3. Oh, you guys, I didn't get scent notes for this one. This is up past midnight from L3 and her scoop of bullet as a sample. But it's minty. It's minty and something. I'm sorry. I don't remember what it is, but it's mint, and I like it. And it's currently going in the downstairs half bath, and it has schmutz. Um, huge fan of minty scents, so that is good. Oh, speaking of light bulbs, had to replace 
the bulb in the downstairs half bath. Um, I just have the plug in the wall like night light warmer. Um, so replace that with a 15. Make sure when you are ordering Sensi, um, buy bulbs because if you do not have some on backup, it stinks when your bulb burns out and then you can't use your warmer until you replace it. So, um, or reach out to your consultant too. They probably have some on hand. I know I try to keep um, a variety of watts. Okay. Is that it for L3? It is. Okay. I thought I went through way more L3, but I didn't. All right. So on to clamshells. The first one being from Teddy Bees. And this is laid on the beach. And it's a blend of beach treats and marshmallows and magnolia. So I think that this is like her boardwalk mallow clouds, her version of it. This is fantastic. Um, this, I want to say, I've only ordered this. I had only ordered from Teddy Bees once. And I think that this was like a, was it a pre-order? Guys, I don't even know. Um, but I think it came in like December or January. So this is great. Loved it. Um, perfect summary um, scent. I did partake in her pre-order, which will ship out sometime next month. So I'm just, I only have a little bit of her stuff left. So I'm just trying to warm through and make room. From the Bathing Garden, Curiouser and Curiouser. I love this so much. I've had this probably six or seven times. Um, I probably have another bar of it. This is bergamot, lemon, soft floral, sweet greens, and citrus. And it is just gorgeous combined. Oh, that citrus with the greens oh, and the bergamot. I absolutely, I love this. And I keep thinking like, oh, I'm going to get sick of it and not want it anymore. But when I warm it, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy it. Mermaid Tears from the Bathing Garden. This is Spa Lake Scents of Essential Citrus Oils, Tropical Greens, and Salty Tears. Love this one as well. Mm. Clean, fresh, aquatic, just perfect summer scent. Love this. Have had it before. Um, so good. So good. Long lasting. Love. Have a couple from. Where'd you go? from um, Sugar and Spice. This is Strawberry Lemon Key Lime Cake. Oh, amazing. Oh, amazing. That key lime, fantastic, mixed with the strawberry and then hints of lemon in there. Cake, sort of. You get like a little kind of bakery vibe going on with this. Just delicious, bright, fruity. This, I did two. Um, these are her one and a half ounce. So I cut these in half and had them going in four warmers in my living space. And it was delicious. Kids commented on it. Husband commented, really, really good. Summer fruit, wonderful mix. Melted in my bedroom, strawberry pound cake bubble gum from Up the Creek Sands. I love this. And this was my last one. This is just fun, bubblegum, juvenile, um, with that strawberry pound cake mixed so nicely with the bubblegum, but you could still get both. You could still definitely tell that there was bubblegum in here as well as the strawberry pound cake. And I warmed this, <clears throat> excuse me, in my bedroom and I loved it. I've been loving um, like bakery scents in my room, which I never did before. I always tried to keep you know, more like soothing scents in there, but hell man, I, so good. Another one from Up the Creeks was Pink, um, Pink Boardwalk Marshmallow Cloud. So Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds mixed with pink sugar. So good. Just had my room smelling girly and fruity. Um, loved, loved, loved this. May have a couple more, maybe my last, not sure. So good. Anything more clean. I mean, scent shots. I did Bora Bora from K, and I did two of them again because I cut her two ounce scent shot cups in half, 
and had them going in for warmers. And Bora Bora, I wish I was in Bora Bora. Um, oh, this is so good. This makes you want to take a vacation. This is pineapple, passion fruit, yuzu, mango, acai berry, green apple, and um, orchid uh, leaves. Oh, again, just tropical, sunny, fantastic days. Had this going in my house when we were having a pool day, which the last two weeks have just been pure pool days with my sister-in-law here. Fantastic. Really, really liked this. I think I've had this before from Kay. Um, just great. Really, really great. Another one from Kay was Avocado Co-Wash. Oh, loved this one too. Um, did half of this in my master bathroom and the other half in my bedroom. This is a lush um, dupe. It is lime, bergamot, lemon. It says a touch of smoke. I don't get that. No, even on cold, I'm not smelling anything because I think when I hear a touch of smoke, I think campfire. Um, so this was great. Um, yeah, and so she is transitioning over to doing clamshells. So um, I think maybe she has some sun shots left on her site, but I'm excited to try her um, clamshells. Okay, and then two bags, no, three bags, and we are done. So the first bag being from Ava's Country Covered, and this was in blue raspberry slushy. And these were two like, uh, they were like tiered cupcakes, I wanna say. Like three tiered cupcakes or two tiered. So they were pretty good size. Um, so I melted this on two different occasions because there were two in here. And this is ripened raspberry, sugary cotton candy, and effervescence of crushed ice. So this was definitely a candied raspberry because of that sugared cotton candy. Um, so not a realistic raspberry, very much the raspberry flavor that you would get if you were to have a slushy. So that blue raspberry scent. So this was fun and um, enjoyable. The kids liked it. It didn't last a very long time and it was never really like super, super strong. It was like at a medium and I would say I got a good six hours um, when I warmed that. So all good they are. A mini melter bag and jelly donut from Rose Girls. I am so over this scent. <laughs> this is fried dough, vanilla, and sugared, sugar covered berry filling. I went like over the years. I just I've warmed it so much that um, I'm good. I am good. Um, I'm good. <laughs> it is a jelly filled donut um sense you know if you are a bakery lover this is good i just have melted it so much over the years that it isn't on my reorder list and then lastly i have um the pharmacist's daughter so this was in the sense crush this is was poured on january 16th and it is beechwood vetiver marshmallow and boom boom type you guys, I have been so excited for this. Oh, it smells so good on cold. I was like dying, dying, dying to warm this. But when I first got her, their stuff and I warmed it, I wasn't really getting a great performance. So I figured, fine, you know, if it needs a longer cure time, I'm totally fine with that. I do not need to get something and melt it right away. I want to be able to smell my scents. Um, but this just did nothing which I seem to just not have luck with the pharmacist's daughter. Again, I've only ordered from them once, but this is like everything on cold. Oh my God, that beechwood vetiver, the boom boom, the marshmallow, you smell it all in here. And I warmed it in three different warmers, three different rooms. And, and <laughs> the majority of her stuff I have warmed, like I said, I got it in January. So I melted like in March and April, like when my, I don't have heat on and my AC isn't even on. So it's not about like my airflow. And then with this one, we shut our air off from three to six, from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. So I put this in like when I had no air and my house was stuffy 
and I still couldn't get it. Tried it in three different warmers. I don't know. Tell me what you guys do with the pharmacist's daughter. Should, it, should I have waited longer to warm? Are there certain warmers that you guys feel do better? How much wax do you put in? I mean, I feel like I should know all this stuff because I've been melting wax for a long time, but I really, I'm just struggling, struggling, struggling. Um, so at this time, I would not repurchase from this vendor just because it doesn't, um, I don't get it. I don't get a scent when I warm it. And I'm so sad because I want them warm. I want to have stuff from them. But anyway, that is it, you guys. That is everything. This was a very long video. I apologize for that. I thank you so much for watching. I did want to let you know, if you are a Disney fan, Scentsy is releasing two new warmers on Monday. It is a Mrs. Potts um, full-size warmer for $75 and then a chip um, plug-in warmer. I have, um, what was I gonna say? A chip plug-in one for 25, and then the bar of wax is $6.50, but if you buy both the warmers um, and select to put that bar in your cart as well, the bar is free. So it would be $100 um, plus shipping and taxes. So um, I think, did I put pictures on my Instagram yet of that? I'm not sure, but um, it will be released on Monday. It is super, super cute. Beauty and the Beast is like my most favorite Disney movie. So uh, I told myself I wasn't going to buy it because I do not need more warmers. But then I'm just trying to justify it by saying that Mrs. Potts warmer would look so adorable in my classroom. So I don't know. We'll see. I think it's gonna they're going to sell out super fast. So if it's something you're interested in, reach out to me. Reach out to your consultants. Go to the website on Monday morning um, and check it out. So that's everything, you guys. I hope you are having an amazing weekend. Starting on Monday here, it is supposed to be 117 degrees. I don't like that. And I know everybody's thinking, well, you have a pool. Yes, I have a pool. But when it's 117 out, my pool will feel like bath water. So I'm not going to complain. I just wish we would get one full day. I just want one day of it to be like downpouring, raining. Um, yeah, so that's it. Take care, stay well, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.